Hi guys, welcome to this review about the F60R 4K Ultra HD action camera. They say also full HD 12 megapixel waterproof sports camera and so on and so on. This is from wish.com. I hope you know this site. It has some good stuff and some not so good stuff and especially they have really really super cheap uh, stuff so here we see this uh, action camera it's listed for only 13 dollars so it's the cheapest action camera i have found i just wanted to make a test what a uh, 13 dollar camera is capable to do and if you look on the left side it looks really good i mean it seems to come with all the accessories from a cheap uh, from a more expensive camera it has the waterproof case comes different colors has all the accessories for like bike mounts and other mounts so 13 dollars look really really tempting 12 megapixel you don't need a lot of megapixel for a good action camera uh, yeah waterproof uh, diving bike uh, <laughs> uh, car uh, bicycle uh, diving cam and so on and so on looked really good so i ordered it and gave it a try also you see the reviews are really good five stars four stars um yeah not too bad here we have the details from which two inch ultra hd waterproof um what do they have as well detachable battery uh 500 w pixel i don't know what that means wide angle camera support hd photography that sounds really really good waterproof 30 meters yeah almost everything uh, more expensive cameras have as well so i'm switching now to the camera hopefully you can see that now okay so here we have the box it came in this box it was a little bit uh, yeah uh, bent or uh, cr crunched or i don't know how to say it didn't look too good when it came it was not in the box it, it came just in a bubble envelope and yeah it didn't look like on the picture total different thing but it had uh, about the things which were specified here in the back you have the specifications 1080p waterproof uh, somewhere they say even 4k can't remember it was probably on the wish listing 4k um, super wide angle lens 140 degrees and so on and so on battery, battery 900 milliampere for one and a half hours and so on as you can see looks everything like a really state-of-the-art camera here you see the camera looks really similar to a decent action cam also the case absolutely no much difference you get uh, four buttons um, yeah which is pretty much standard also this security thing so it's and it's uh, even really uh, good this um yeah a lot of things work really good so i have to tell you that yeah a few things are really good not everything is bad regarding this camera a lot of things are bad i will show you later on but um as a yeah big surprise some some things work really good so it's really lightweight it's it, it it's much lighter than most of the other action cameras it has a micro usb 
uh, adapter it's not a mini USB adapter which most of the action camera use it's a, a micro USB adapter which is actually much better I really like that it has a micro SD card slot that really works good it has no protection it has the camera there's no protection here that's a little bit bad but if you are using it in the water you can use the case anyway here's the battery no problem actually or not much problem to open usually you know, of course when you're doing it on the camera it doesn't work but uh, I was able to to open it remove the battery uh, put it in back it's a little bit um, you, you, you can really feel that the, the material is a little bit cheaper than with a standard action camera but you can do uh, actually everything you can remove the battery you charge it inside but it's uh, it has really 900 milliampere hours and it charges quite fast and the charge lasts pretty long so I made um, snorkeling tour for about one hour I left it on um, for almost one hour and I made pictures and videos um, the videos were about I would say maybe 15 minutes in total so I was recording for 15 minutes and I had the camera on for about one hour and at the end the battery was dead of course but this is not too bad the also a, a good thing is it if you turn it on you can turn it on here it turns on quite fast so you can see it's not super fast but it's it's faster than a lot of other cameras you can see you here you have the uh, video recording screen automatically you can start recording okay there's no card in it um, you can switch modes by pressing this button so one time then it goes on a uh, picture to uh, shoot uh, st yeah, stand uh, um, images and one more time you can record uh, just sounds and one more time then it comes to playback so that's pretty easy if you push long here you come into the setup mode here first you have the video setup you can change some things like uh, video time video uh, voice record on off motion detect timestamp if you press again then you go into the general setup for the camera that ha doesn't have anything to do with the video it's the, just the general setup which is the language auto off um, yeah and other basic things okay. Okay, if you go back to the, let me see, that's the picture mode. When I press long in the picture mode, I'm of course in the menu for the pictures. And there's only one setting. We have the resolution. So let me, yeah, you can change from VGA. Oops, yeah, you can see that uh, VGA uh, 2 3 megapixel. But the thing is, there's no 3 megapixel. <laughs> I've made some pictures, it's only 0 0.3 megapixel, and the videos are also really crap. So at first uh, moment, it looks everything really good you think yeah everything is here there's no Wi-Fi of course there are no extra functionality but yeah it, it, it works really good you can start stop making video you can shoot stand uh, yeah standalone pictures and those things the um, screen isn't too bad it's not super bright but it's okay it's no problem the only thing when you uh, what you see here I don't know what happened there's some latch here probably from the 
uh, assembly. I couldn't remove that. That's not a cover sheet, I think. There were a lot of cover sheets, cover foils, but this is not a cover foil. This is just uh, something from cheap assembly. So probably they um, yeah, had some like uh, good quality assembly and bad quality assembly and this is bad quality so they put it on yeah sale uh for 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 very very cheap so um yeah that's um yeah a good things what good things do we have yeah the case uh the case as well that's a good thing so you can put it in close the case and that's that works really super easy and all the buttons work really good so there's no mul function there's no double function like with much much uh, more expensive cameras i had it with very expensive cameras that when i pressed it uh, triggered a double press uh, also here so this didn't happen so when you press once it just uh, invokes like uh, yeah it makes one one picture and, and and those things so no problem at all and it was really waterproof I had it in the water for one hour I was snorkeling for one hour and there was not a single drop of water in the case that's really good that's a surprise so I think the case is really equal to much more expensive cameras but the camera itself it's really really crap the pictures and videos uh, they are so poor uh, quality i will show you and the worst thing is it's not at all wide angle you can see here so maybe you can you have an impression now this is absolutely no wide angle maybe you can see it even better yeah so this is crazy narrow it has maybe a viewing angle of about i don't know maybe 50 60 degrees i don't know it's really really super narrow it ha doesn't have anything to do with wide angle they promise 140 degrees super wide angle i actually 140 degrees is not super wide angle most of the action cameras have about 160 degrees my mobile phone here which i'm using for to record the lg g5 has about 140 degrees angle in the wide angle mode and this is about i don't know 50 degrees 60 degrees maximum definitely not more it doesn't has has not anything to do with wide angle this is really crap i have to tell you looks actually really good outside it's hard to distinguish between this and good camera from outside but if you look at the camera like if you look at the lens it's very clear that this is not a wide, wide angle wide angle look really different so now i'm switching to the um yeah recordings i hope that will work so i'm starting now with this um yeah i hope it will rotate yeah okay now um this should be landscape mode hopefully so here we had the listing then we had the reviews here we have the description and we have already seen as well packaging so this is my first sample um, sample image so you can already see that the picture has really poor quality and when I um, show you the description, you see it's 0 0.3 megapixel, 640 uh, uh, times 480 pixel. 
this is really really crap and it says this was done with the settings 3 megapixel setting which is the highest and it's not 3 megapixel it's 0 0.3 megapixel here we have actually uh, I think a sound recording no that's the next next image here you have sound recording yeah it does record sound if you can li you listen to that this is very close about two inches from the back now ten inches from the back oh i can now, go back to that sound test sound test this is very close about two inches from the back now ten inches from the back now about three feet away from the back and now one foot away and now very close again sound test sound test okay very close so about. i finished that so but of course that was not line input that was a uh, speaker to the microphone so you didn't if you listen to that this is not the original quality the original quality is better the original sound quality is actually without the case is really good uh, there are definitely action cam cameras which are 10 times the price which are uh, have um, not so good microphone quality this is a really surprising thing so if you are planning to do only voice recording yeah that it, then it might work otherwise it's crap so you see this is one of the better images but even here when you go in de into detail um, yeah you see it's really really bad I mean you can see that uh, the by the way the I left all the um, yeah like the timestamp I left it I forgot to remove so I have timestamp on all my pictures here but you can set it that you don't have a timestamp on your pictures but this is one of the better pictures I was snorkeling in a lagoon with turtles and that was almost a really a nice close-up it's one of the better images so I'm going to you see sometimes much way too bright a lot of pictures are way too bright colors are totally uh, washed out color uh, are like white balance is really bad it's over uh, like uh, brightness is, is is way too bright uh, yeah so the actual um the, i mean the water was not super clear but it was way better than what you see on these pictures this is probably a problem with my finger in front of the lens but here you can see a turtle this is one of the rare photos which are not really bad here yeah you see this is one of the better pictures as well but uh, really a lot a lot of really bad picture as we, when you zoom in you see yeah there are a lot of artifacts and not a lot of details even when it looks quite good at the beginning if you zoom in then pictures are really really bad this one of the better images so yeah so overall yeah outside it's a little bit better when it gets a little bit darker on the water then it yeah turns really really bad sometimes even outside of the water yeah this also one of the better pictures but if you see when we go into detail there are no 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 really details um yeah here you see here you see that you see nothing <laughs> so yeah 
we have a lot of these images some are yeah I would say you can use them you, you can send it to somebody as as a thumbnail or yeah but most of them like here totally washed out nothing really good so I uh, here I have a video on the water oh it's not loading I don't know take some time yeah at the beginning it's totally bad and when the turtle came closer it yeah improved a little bit but yeah you see definitely no wide angle and that's a problem it doesn't have any stabilization so that's a problem now I've for some reason went back for, and I have to scroll again through all the images I'm very sorry don't know why this happened hope I will find where I've been so shouldn't take too long hopefully we get back to the yeah here another movie what's that probably not the one I was looking for I had a really good I mean a good one not super good one but uh, actually my favorite but I can't find it at the moment maybe this one with a turtle approaching yeah but you see it's really really difficult to get decent recordings maybe that's the one no so yeah anyway uh, maybe this is the one yeah could be no actually that was my daughter swimming so yeah here we have the turtle close-up I think it's coming towards me um, yeah that looks somehow good somehow but it's probably the best video I I was able to capture so and here we have a recording which my daughter uh, made with a $50 action camera so you can see the difference it's uh, same conditions same turtles same water it's not a super expensive camera but it's way way better definitely so I uh, think that was it yeah obviously that was it so I'm going back due to the camera so we are now back live with this camera so yeah as I was telling you so it has actually everything from outside what a normal action camera has but the inside like programs or yeah the um, lens and image sensor it's total crap it's total useless so stay away from this uh, do not even buy this for your grandchild or wh whoever you want to um, give some so, uh, some kind of basic camera uh, that, that it, it, it's no fun it's it, it's really no fun at all with this camera it's a waste of money waste of time waste of everything I mean you have to buy a storage card you're using your time and at the end the results are really rubbish so don't buy this 
not even as an extra camera or spare camera or something like this so I think the minimum what you have to invest for a decent action camera is really about $50 then you don't get a top-notch camera but you can get a decent action camera for about $50 and this yeah you will be have uh, much more fun than with this one this is really useless so uh, it took a little bit um, yeah to get to find the end but I think I now have covered at least almost everything i hope i was able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and yeah if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time